Hey guys, my name is NG Paradox, and we're back with with old little Danny. And something has happened straight away. This is what happens when your queen always getting messages. Quest that I be legitimized as the son of Lord Hake Greyjoy. Okay, so this guy obviously was the son of one of the Greyjoys. He'd like to be legitimized. Well, he was the only son of him. He's inherited the lands. Yeah. Okay, your quest is granted. You may be legitimized. So we have Quarren Greyjoy now. Okay. My courtier is not exerting herself in her studies. I'm starting to despair. Hmm. Talked about being diligent. Yeah, come on, girl. I should probably delete the armies. Where are the armies right now? 10,000 men. We should probably be getting rid of them. Where, where did I put them? Am I just not zoomed in? No, I am zoomed in. 10,000 men. Oh, I guess they're playing Marine, aren't they? There we go. Of course they are. Always forget about Marine. Wish I could give Marine away, but it's, uh... I guess I could give it to someone and make it independent. That could be something. To, maybe maybe she's keeping it as a keepsake of her, you know, memories of her time off in Slaver's Bay. I will hereby adopt the arms of my ancestor house. The Hunter family. Okay. Yeah, she used to be a cox, but through her mother she inherited that land. And so she's decided to take the coat of arms of the Hunter family to keep it going. My rightful seat. Ah, the Martell. Do I really want to help a Martell to go and take land? She's married to an Ulla. That looks like it would just cause more problems. Her sister at the moment is the Princess of Dawn. I probably should not be getting involved in such things, so I'm going to just get people... You know, upset about it. And um, what is this? You would like a betrothal for Martin Payne and Lilia Payne. Well, I mean, they're both Paynes, so I mean, I, I can't... That's your family. I try to get a good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and the hurtful words begin to get to me. Yeah, we've got a lot of disease at the moment in the Crownlands. Only the Chosen will survive. I like that. She's a lunatic. Yeah, okay, because she's gone a bit crazy. Only the Chosen will survive. Only certain people... Like me. I'm the mother of dragons. I am chosen to survive this. Of course I am. And we probably need the council member, Master of Laws. Let's go for Keltiger. Let's put him in charge of that for now. I will just do with that. And... You're not able to come here. You can... Not really got any children for you to train, have we? Train troops. Train troops in King's Landing. Go on, my son. Both my sons and the council. They're the only people I can trust. Only people I can trust. The Kingdom of Lys. We've got a few places we can maybe try to attack, but... I don't think it's best for Danny to get involved in that. She's an old lady now. She's starting to think about the future. You know, her sons, the inheritance and whatnot. Okay, of his sexual preferences. I don't think Danny's too concerned about that. She'd just rather not hear about it. Yeah, lead from the center, maybe. Grammerton. Do that. And he's got him. Okay. Who can stand against us? No one, of course. Not with my two sons. Not with those two. The greatest knights of the realm. Let's see what we've got here, then. Hostine Smallwood, skilled fighter, brave, pretty good. Jaden Darkholm, eh, I probably would go for the Smallwood. And Gilwood Torrent. Now, he's a skilled fighter, but he's not brave, so I'm going to go with the Smallwood. Congratulations. I, I, duh. What is with you people? No one ever wants to join my King's Guard. There's no one in my court that Danny trusts to put on the King's Guard. Let's have a quick look through. Zach, no. This guy. I mean, if they were good at fighting, they would have popped up. I guess I could just see if anyone is there, someone she trusts. Macy's her, Grammerton. Mortimer. Nope, nope, nope. Really is no one. A kettle black, ah. Lucifer Crab. John Os Cliff. The Dwarf here. Chelstead. Not him. Dark Pain is the only one 
who I would really want to bring onto the King's Guard. Please join my King's Guard. <laughs> Please, Derek Payne, you would be a great member of the King's Guard. Please. Warden of the South. Let's make it Warden of the South. No, let's not do that. Um, let's go back to what we're doing. This guy wounded. Did I ask him? I don't remember if I asked him. I think I must have, or it would have popped up just then. Crispian. Mega. Okay, yep, no one there. Uh, two people eloped and got married. Para. Oh, and uh, Derek Payne. Accept it. They married for love. Okay, the greatest knights in the realm. We've got a, a Blount. Wow, Boris. This guy is much better than Boris Blount. You know, skilled fighter, brave. He's not greedy. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good one. He is betrothed though to a more girl. Huh. Interesting. Blount and a more girl. That's uh, you know, Mandin Moore, Boris Blount, um, Birch, Sir Patrick. I'm gonna go with the Blount. Nah, he's got, he's got more important things to deal with. Okay, fine. He is probably the future of the house, isn't he? Nah. Greatest Knights again. We've only got Amstead Birch. Okay, how about you then? There we go. We got, we got someone on our King's Guard. Finally. There we go. Good news. Peasant Revolt has happened. Okay, 10,000 men. That's a pretty big Peasant Revolt. We'll have to deal with that. Unaware of others hearing them, these two people have been sneaking around the premises to have intimate encounters. This ends now. Danny Forster, that's a bit mean. No grace unless I have to do powerful houses then. In one second. High Admiral. Royce. Well, that's because we got, for some reason, we got some of the Veilmen underneath me directly. Which is probably not how it should be. These guys should not be here. They should be underneath my son. Maybe I'll have to try and put them underneath him. Or maybe they're rebelling against him. I don't know. We'll put Giles, the Lord Commander. He's the Master of Ships and an advisor. Let's make the drum, yeah. Another advisor. The High Septon can be the priest. No? Septon. No one can be the Septon right now. Interested. Okay, the High Septon can be an advisor then. There you go. Anything else I need to be doing? Hatch the egg. We're still trying to get that money back. From powerful houses. Torrent. Okay, step forward. No. I can... uh, let's try and get rid of these 10,000 men. How many men can I get from the Riverlands? 11,000 men. There we go. No more knights. Okay, so we've got 11,000 men here. We could probably defeat this little rebellion right now. Silly peasants. Two people eloped and got married. Yeah, fine. Accept it. I'm not too bothered if I'm losing prestige. You've got a ridiculous amount of prestige as it is. So it doesn't really harm me. Commanders. We need two more. Giles and Keltiger. So let's put... My son is already leading armies somewhere else. Let's put the pain. Uh, Lord Commander and Cave. You guys can go deal with that situation. Those are three good leaders. Well, I guess two good leaders. They should be able to handle the situation. Okay. And they've done it. Good job, men. That is the end of that peasant revolt. Good day, sir. I just realized I have no music on. Because I was playing multi... I need to remember to do it every time I play multiplayer. There we go. There we go, it's back. Uh, let him rot. Silly peasants. Thinking they can rebel against Danny. And most of the realms are back under us now, so that's good to see. He would like to get married. Marry as you please. Marry as you please, sir. I'm not particularly bothered about who you marry. There we go, all the realms are basically underneath us now. Still no priest. I might have just bring a... I might just get a, a priest, I guess. When we can. I have some money, actually. Have to wait for that. Known plots. Is there any to kill little Danny? No. Okay, that's fine. 
Now is the disease gone? No, winter fever is still all around King's Landing. Let him rot. I should probably just check the dungeon. We have quite a few prisoners. Stormlander here. Probably would be a good idea to try and get some money because, you know, we don't have any money right now. So a lot of these people have been in jail for a while. They've probably paid for what they've done. I mean, this little boy, look at that. Let's let him out. Bywater can stay. Yeah, I think that'll be enough money for us. And she became a charismatic negotiator. Skilled steward. Well, there we go. Okay, so now we can try and get a priest by employing a new courtier. But I can't do it right now, secluded, yeah. I have to wait until the, the disease has passed on. When will it go? When will the disease pass? There we go. Got a good chunk of money right now. That's much better. And she is wroth. My granddaughter with a little dragon egg. She's gotten wroth. Okay, this child seems mad. I mean, we've been quite lucky with the whole, like, mad part. We've got quite a few kids who've been said to be mad. But then they've always, you know, it's always been something, like, small. Not something too big. It has come to my attention that my bannerman, Commander Jarman of the Dragon Gate, has been plotting in a conspiracy to gain a claim on the High Lodge of King's Landing. Some would say this is sedition. Sedation? The rightful seat. Oh, the Lannister girl. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not going to help you. Serena of Riverspring was your mother. Okay. Word is going around that since the epidemic came to King's Landing, We've seen an increase in cats. Our people are sure the cats are helping to spread the disease. Gather some cats for examination. Yeah, Danny's a bit crazy now. She's going to be like, okay, let's, uh, we have to do what has to be done. Let's examine those kitties. Oren reports that apart from showing disapproval of their capture, most of the cats seem calm and healthy. Only a few show symptoms of illness. It is unlikely that cats are the cause. So the cats are not to blame. Let them go. Keep some for observation. Yeah, Danny wants to be definitely sure. Those scheming cats. Obviously, Sir Pounce. This is this is actually revenge by uh, Tommen Lannister's cat, Sir Pounce. He's schemed for years to take us down. And now he's using disease. Because he couldn't use war. No longer advisor. New High Septon, it would seem. Let's go for Selmy. Yeah, Selmy can be the new one. I... Yeah, I can't go till I get out of hiding. We can't get a new courtier. Ah, oh, look at all this disease. Oh, it looks like it's going. I think the disease just left King's Landing. And there we go. Open the gates. And employ a holy man. Here we go. We have Danos. Welcome, and he's a Westerosi Valerian. Well, glad to have you on board, sir. Okay, they in a faction right now. She is in one, yeah. Ask politely. Let's ask her politely. So, so far, we've just been kind of just dealing with general stuff going on at the moment. The John Field population at High Point has been converted. Really? Yep, Faith of the Seven, White Hills. Custody for too long. You would like to pay for it. Okay, fine. The recent conversion has upset some people. Complaints about the cats will not end. An angry mob has gathered, claiming that cats are the bringers of bad luck and cannot be allowed to roam the streets. Cats seem mostly healthy. Get rid of all cats. This is absurd. I, I think Danny may be in her craziness. And she's trusting, yeah, maybe, get rid of all cats, says Danny. Get rid of them all, these evil cats. This guy, of the Roin. He shows Planky Town. I don't think we need to do anything, he's too small. He's not going to make any difference. He shouldn't really even be my vassal right now. And let's go for vassal view so we can see exactly... 
in a bit more detail what's going on here. You can see over here there's some of the trident controls land over here. Wait, when were you spy master for me? <laughs> it's no longer spy master. I don't think you were. Ah, it's because I inherited the Kingswood. Oh no! So Tumko, you know, he died, his daughter, and now she's died from gout. And her children all are oh, winter fever, stillborn. What a sad day. Oh yeah, her child was a fray. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe some people don't mind that. So I've actually inherited the Kingswood. Well, there we go. Ah, she died without leaving any blood. Relative is clear. Heir to the High Lodge with the Kingswood. Therefore, it falls to you to settle the inheritance. We'll revert to the Queen. Gunfer, the Widow, shall get it. Gunfer Cho, he's a Stormlander. But he's a pirate. Inter that could just cause more problems him being a pirate. Danny's maybe not so fond of pirates. Bywater, no, no, no. It shall revert to the Queen. The Greatest Knights. And here we go, Sir Banfred. Skilled fighter. Andrew Pominham. Again, a skilled fighter. Neither of them have really done well in tourneys. And we have Tarrell Q. Also a skilled fighter. None of them have really done anything at tournaments or anything. Nothing's really special about them. Let's go for Q. There we go. Another member of the Kingsguard. Um, of the Queen's Guard, sorry. Almost said Kingsguard. Included feel that Clayton of the West March has amassed more power than is warranted for his station. Let's have a quick look then. Oh, he has Brightwater and the West March. Ha. Huh. To a vassal. Yeah, Danny will have no part of the scheme. Greatest Knights. We've got Sir Banfred again. Andrew Pominum again. And we've got Sir Edward. Now, it's one of these two. Neither really stands out. Let's go for Pominham. But he's never looked much good in white. White's just not his colour. A Northman Liberation Revolt? Who is this led by? Okay, I must have deleted it by accident. Uh, there we go. That must be the Liberation Revolt. I guess I could see it here, won't I? Brandon Woolfield. So a Woolfield has decided to raise men to get independence for the North. With 20,000 men, that's pretty good. That I'd be legitimized as the son of Maladartian. Really? Skilled fighter? Your father was never really a famous man. But you wish to take on his house arms. Your request is granted, sir. Your request is granted. Just visit to my court. Greatest Knights. I'm going to have to go for Banfred, yeah. Banfred has been waiting for this. There we go. <laughs> He's been wanting to join for quite a while. That's going to be discouraged. Threaten the vassal. Manon. Rosby. We'll do nothing for now. They're splitting up their men. We've got Royces up here. From Runestone. What are these wars going on right now? Lorraine's claim on the north. And another claim. Oh, they're actually fighting each other. <laughs> okay, so my two sons are fighting each other. They both want to take claim. No, it's claim for the north. Wasn't that the claim for the north? Yes. Lord Paramount Vermin. War against the tyranny. Sorry, okay, not. Okay, I thought maybe they were fighting each other. That would have been hilarious. My only two sons fighting each other. And I don't think they're going to be able to handle that. So we should probably just get some men. 19,000 men. Probably shouldn't have picked them up here. There we go. That would have been a, that would have been a better idea. Let's get the best people in charge. Giles. Danny. Let's take care of these revolters. Glory of the gods. Danny's not really got more religious as she's got older. Why should I pay for it? So Gilbert is no longer regent. I've got the Lordship of Dyer Den. Really? 
probably should give that away. Let's have a quick look. Lady Serona's widow shall get it. Sir Gilbert of Haunted Keep. Or Lord Pate, Pate Caves claim his best. Huh, maybe you know, Pate Cave is a commander of my armies. So yeah, let's go for him. He can have another title. There you go. He's gone a little bit stronger. My domain size is now okay. Yeah, that's much better. Good, good, good. The money lenders are here. Why am I owing her money? Shouldn't that be Cave? He's the one who's inherited her lands. Duh. We'll give them the money. We've got a lot of money right now. Just gotta wait for our morale to go up. She recently went missing. Okay, let's go. They're gonna try and escape. News from the bloody gate, your grace. She hacks the dragon, my granddaughter. Well, there's... She's obviously of my blood. Ezaval. She is the baby of Regal. So Regal had a baby. Good for her. Good for her. Now we're going to cross in here. They're going to get extra men. Betrothal can be done. The Pain Girl and... Who are you again? Martin Payne. Oh, yes. They can have that. Okay, so go over here then. Hopefully you can go down south. There we go. There shouldn't be any bad things happening to you then. My queen, many of your faithful subjects feel the West March. Okay, again with the West March. Come on, guys. Danny's not going to get involved. She has other bigger things to deal with. The whole realm. What do you think keeps these realms in line? It's fur. Fur and blood. Danny's turned into what she hated most. Robert Baratheon. <laughs> Could you imagine that? If Danny did turn like into Robert Baratheon, she wins the wars and then just doesn't care. And just does whatever she needs to do to keep everything in line. Ah, that would be uh that'd be kind of interesting. Wolffield arrived at my court. Let him rot. I decided to enact a law changing the rules of succession of marine. Agnatic cognatic. Good for you. Good for you. Would you like, uh, I wish I could give you your lands. Just give you marine. It just make things much easier. We're just going to say Danny's keeping it as a keepsake. Her sons might just give it away then. How's the Lord Commander? Mr. Marbrand. He's got cancer right now. Got chatter in here and... Oh, still that guy. Throughout the day you've caught yourself grinding your teeth and been unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly you realize why. You've been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy people around you. Huh. Yeah, we'll lecture we'll lecture them. Danny's a lecturer, I think. I think I'd definitely consider her someone to be one to lecture people. Let her rot. Yeah. Tried to hatch a dragon egg, but failed. Interesting. So the Mormont girl tried to hatch the egg. Oh. And her husband died during her attempt to try and hatch the egg. Where did she get that dragon egg from? Where did you get that egg from? I know you're a Mormont, but still. You're not really close to any of the Mormonts. They married a Tuttle. I guess that's, that's probably not the Tuttle that I'm thinking of, but yeah. Fool! Your grace... I mean, she's a fool. She sh you gotta be you gotta be a Targaryen to do that, girl. Come on. Your grace is coming to my attention that in direct contravention of his vows to protect your person, Sir Osmond has been having a sordid affair with one of your courtiers. <gasps> oh, dear. Is it with Leonette, one of the silent sisters? He couldn't help himself. Sir Maynard, how can I trust you? Only death is sufficient for such actions. I shall have him gelded and sent to the wall. Imprison him and remove him from the king's guard. It does no harm. Now, I think Danny... See, old Danny, I think I would have found it hard to choose what she would do. But I think in her current state, she's going to be thinking, You had your vows, sir, and you've now broken one of those vows. 
How can I trust you'll keep the other vows to protect me if you can't even keep it in your pants? Now, would she just remove him from the King's Guard? Or would she send him to the wall? I think now because she's a bit crazy, she's going to send him to the wall. Gelded and sent to the wall. That a rot. Your son, Aegor, is a member of the royal family. Should be protected. Uh, no, not send his son, Maynard. He's about to get... <clears throat> he's about to get um, gelded, so yeah. Armstead Birch or Sir Banford. Well, Birch is a, a duelist, so we want to send the best to go protect my son. So there we go. He's going to go be with my son, Aegir. The greatest knights. Tim Royce. Looks okay. Skilled fighter. Sir Olimar. Trained fighter, but he is brave. And Ormond Jass. Another skilled fighter. Tim Royce. There we go. Got Tim Royce on the King's Guard. She looked on with pride as the newest knight of your King's Guard swore his vows. Ah, oh, that's her son. Good for her. And so did the Lord Royce, Coleman Royce. They both looked on with pride as their son became a protector of Daenerys Targaryen. She recently went missing. Who was just burnt alive? That person, Mathis. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, we're going to end this part here. Most of the things we've been dealing with have just been kind of, uh, should we say, internal politics and stuff and whatnot. Uh, things have been kind of peaceful, actually, since the last war. Has to be said, since we've done that, things have been moderately peaceful. We have 167,000 men. So we have a lot of soldiers, but Danny's just trying to, she just wants to have peace. She wants to relax. She's finally got some peace. She can finally sit on the Iron Throne and just think, this is mine. This is what I'm leaving to my sons. Uh, we're just waiting for her to die, basically, and we're going to see what the future will bring for her two sons. Will there be peace and stability, or will it just bring more chaos and uncertainty? They both only had daughters, but my second son is about to have another baby. But only daughters so far. Could be an interesting future for the family. I'll see you then.